I'm here because flow's worked for me. But I'll be really honest with you, the main reason I'm here is, is and it sounds very altruistic, I want to support other people that are going through what I'm going through. And the main reason for that is, you know, I've read all the stats, so I'm 52, men between 45 and 55 are at the biggest risk of taking their own life, biggest risk of, of mental health. And one of the challenges I had when I was and am going through this is you just feel so alone. And as much as you understand the world tells you that it's okay not to be okay, as blokes, we're just rubbish at talking about this stuff. It, it's still that mental health happens to weak people or happens to fragile people, and, and it doesn't. I got a brand new job, really looking forward to it. Uh, started it and, and started to get some low level anxiety, and it quickly turned into being quite tearful and, and being quite panicky. So, so I went to the GP and they prescribed me some pretty much everyday anxiety medication, and it had the adverse effect quite quickly. So, so anxiety medication can make you feel rough for a couple of weeks first, but after two, three weeks, I started to feel a lot worse. So I went back to the GP and said, you know, this, this isn't working. I'm actually feeling tearful quite a lot. I'm panicking quite a bit. I'm probably not able to work. So they prescribed me a second one. Uh, they said, come off the other one, try, try this next one. This will be fine. And the pattern continued again. So four or five weeks, after that, I started to feel even worse. And so went back to the GP again, and they said, okay, you know, this does happen to some people. Tried the third one, and at that point, it was getting even worse again. You'd probably say you start to feel quite psychotic, so you're pretty unable to function, you're in bed all day. It's more than this low mood, it's just this, this horrid, dark feeling around you all the time. And the GP said, I don't know what else to do. What would you like? And to be in that desperate mental state of just wanting something to help you, for a GP to say, I don't know what to do, what would you like? Just makes the panic even worse, you know? You just kind of think, oh my God, even, even the GP doesn't know what to do here. And so that, that was probably one of, the, one of the most awful times because you panic and you get referred to NHS mental health services with a waiting list of 12 to 18 months. We didn't know what to do, my wife didn't know what to do, and so we had to seek private help. We had to borrow money off family and seek private psychological support. Finally got a referral to the NHS mental health services, and it was while I was seeing the mental health practitioner as part of the NHS that they suggested flow. Physically unhealthy, happily married, great kids, got a really successful job, income's great. There's no reason, why, why, why am I feeling like this? And, and, and you try and logically understand what's going on. And when you can't, and when you can't work it out, you just start to think, I need some help here. You can use it every day, it's something you, you do, it's something you go, this will help me get better. And the ease of using it was something that appealed to me. I, originally I was thinking oh, I'm going to have to plug this thing in and sit attached to a machine and is it going to be complicated. And it wasn't so the first few times that I started using it was, was like okay th this is what I do, th this is what I use now. And there wasn't an expectation of a silver bullet, it, you, you don't use it once and you're suddenly healed. If, if, if only, you use it and it becomes part of your treatment. You're using it, it becomes part of, uh, of getting you better. Flow's just been a really integral part of, of me getting better and it's something I'll continue to use because it, is, it, it has worked for me, it really has. When you have a mental health crisis, you just want to be better and you're not sure what better is. You just want to go back to I don't want to feel like this, I want to feel how I used to feel. Not about going back to how I used to be, but about being a new me. And, and that, that's, that's not a destination, that's a journey. It almost doesn't feel like a treatment now, it, it's just part of what I do. It's like, oh, I need to do flow today. I would say before I went through this, I, I thought people having depression or anxiety, oh, they're a bit weak, aren't they? bit fragile that happens to people like that doesn't it I've been smacked around the face with no it happens to absolutely anyone part of getting better part of improving your mental health 
is about turning up. You have to do stuff. You can't just sit around and wait for it to get better because it doesn't. And I get that's hard for some people. God, it's been, it's been hard for me because there's days where you lie there in bed and you just, I just want to get better. It's a commitment that I make to myself that every day I use flow because it's part of making me better.